this is our Crusader Cross Country Extreme. We've had it over two and a half years. Just going to do a bit of a walk around today. So we'll start off at the, uh, the hitch here. We've got a Lovells upgrade on the car and also upgraded the van to four ton. We could actually go to 4495 without any issues. Um, so that's the hitch on there. Handbrake. Um, just put a bubble on there for the level. We're still sticking with the Sidewinder Alco jockey wheel. Seems to work okay for us, nice and light. Um, got a tap of course on the side there, two nine kilo gas bottles. On top of the, here we've got the uh, wood box. We do like the front window. Um, just for sleeping at night, you can have it a bit open and get a cross, cross breeze, it's good. Um, the light bar up there we've used a couple of times, it does put out a lot of light, that's for sure. If you were hitching up at night, you'd be very thankful. Anyway, I'm just going to climb up here first without killing myself if I can and just uh, have a quick look up on the roof. So up here we've got um, the big light bar. We've got um, on top of the roof, you've got Dometic dust reduction system, we've got a couple of Ranger hatches, a Dometic Ibis 4 air conditioner, the wine guard antenna attached to that is the self I go. Now down the back, if you can see them there, there's a couple of um, rain sensor hatches that are aftermarket and down in the corner I've got Sack King, which we wouldn't uh, wouldn't get again. Um, just don't use it. Same with the wine guard antenna. We would get something different next time. As for solar, we've got uh, three 210 watt solar panels. Um, I wish we'd had a fourth or fifth on there. Uh, definitely room for a fourth if we configured it correctly. Anyway, that's about it for up here. Okay, on this side here, we've got the jerry can holders, both sides. Um, barbecue slide. I did put a tube under here for uh, hold our fishing rods. Not that we've used that too much. And the other side here, the uh, trail safe. Got a um, another slide on here for a, if you're wanting to uh, carry a generator. Tunnel work goes right through. We've got uh, Wi-Tai security on this, uh, alarmed. Your uh, 15 amp plug goes in here. We've got the circuit breakers, TV antenna connection if you're in a caravan park. There's the outlet for the gas heater for under the bed. Main water tank. Um, so that's our drinking water, excuse me, our drinking water at the front, then a general water here. Um, we've got a, uh, another general water tank back here, and then the grey water tank at the back. So we've got the system here with uh, to fill our tanks. Um, obviously we've got the, the filter running into the uh, main inlet, and we can just fill up the tanks individually if we want to. Up above that, there's the vent for the fridge for hot days. And we did keep the um, door for the toilet, although we've got a composting toilet. We thought if ever, anyone ever wants to change back to a, a regular toilet, then it's not such an issue. Fill is here for the water. Cigarette socket. Coming along here, we've got the extreme dust reduction system. Again, haven't used that a lot, but um, it's all good. Another water filler. Outside shower that uh, we haven't used at all. Maybe we would if we were down the beach. We did choose to have, back in the day, endless continuous hot water. Fantastic. Can highly recommend it. Just um, as long as you've got water you can have a shower as long as you want on the rear bar we've got the four supports on that so we could in theory put another 
spare tire or a toolbox or something on there. It's got the strength to, to hold it. We had uh, um, recovery points here and it also just protects the back of the van if you, for your departure angle if you're off-road. Um, up the top, uh, rear reverse camera, a uh, rear camera, sorry, and light. There's a light around the other side as well. Now, a couple of little tunnel routes at the back. I'll just show you this side. So, when you're on level ground, it's a bit high to reach this one, but um, we use it for stuff we're not using too often. Just had, um, we did have a water leak in this one, so we've had um, that repaired, a new door on here. Uh, so we've had checker plate put in the bottom, so I think that's an improvement. And it's all sealed up. Still a smell of fresh silicon in there. Got the outdoor speakers, courtesy light here. Um, it's pretty bright in the, in the dark, I must say. A Dometic awning. I did put lens reflector tape on these to make them orange. Keep the bugs away. We've got two fold down tables. Always handy to have a second one. TV hutch here. Couple of power points. So we've got socket again. The out, outside um, power point I would recommend to get. It's just much easier than having to open this all the time. The router I'm considering uh, putting into this um, box and just putting a, a boat bung so I can have that plugged in and turned on all the time without it sitting out on the table here. Now down here we have got the good stuff. Airbag suspension with remote control. So you get to site you can just press the buttons to level it. Pretty much self levels but it's better to do it with a remote control and do it manually. You can watch videos on how to do that but it's just you get to a, a campsite and you can just uh, pump one side up as, as you can see this is really low on this side and we've got it quite high on the other side so um, great thing. Uh, wouldn't get a van without um, without it I must say. Up here there's the uh, Alco IQ7 for the brakes and the tunnel worked. It goes all the way through. Gives us heaps of space in there. And we're back around the front. And that's about it. So that's our cross country extreme. Things that we would change. We would, as I said before, we would not put the sacking on just because we're, we're just not using it. The antenna, we would look at something different or not have one at all. Um, we do have Starlink, so we tend to just use that. Um, the light bar on the top, I'm not sure if we'd get it again. It's, you know, just because we've only used it a couple of times. Um, outdoor shower, maybe, maybe not. Just um, depends if we're not really beach people. But um, other than that, yeah, pretty much um, set up the way we want. So there you go. Again, that's our Crusader Cross Country Extreme. That's it for now. If you like this video, please subscribe. We'll catch you next time.